Hello everybody, it's Chris here. Back to play some long dark. And unlike usual, I think I am actually ready to go. So let's get to it. Might have to change my body. I usually like to play long dark when um, it's not too warm. It's a little bit warm today, so we'll see if this helps cool things down. So we had uh, spent the last stream hanging around the ranch, uh, hanging around where we live here in the coastal highway. We did a little fishing, did a little hunting, we did a little getting ravaged by wolves, a little bit of that. Uh, we came out on top though. Uh, we tried, tried looking for a moose and that didn't turn out so hot. Um, so we're back, back at the house, safe and sound. We did get a bunch of stuff. Uh, in particular, oh, this always takes a bit. It's the first time, for some reason, they must be building some kind of a cache or something. There you go. We managed to get 44 scrap metal, which... <laughs> I don't know what we'll do with it. Uh, theoretically, we'll use it to make arrowheads. Speaking of which, I think the first thing that we want to do today, just because... I feel like it's something to do, and I kind of want to check our situation. Is head back down to those little huts, those little cabins, and make some more arrows. We'll see what the deal is, because I can't quite remember. Um, our bow is getting kind of raggedy. I don't think there's any way to repair a bow. Which means when you run out of uh, maple, you run out of bows. So that'll be, I mean, honestly, we've got 24 shots on the gun, maybe 35, because it'd be 10 in the chamber or whatever, not in the chamber, but you know what I mean. So 35 shots on the gun, like that's potentially uh, a long time, plus whatever errors we can make already. Mm. Because we do have some maple saplings, and we have a second bow. But I'm just kind of thinking long term, you know. Uh, at any rate, like, like I said, we're going to go check on the bow arrow situation. Um, I'm trying to think if, if I want to bring anything else. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe we could bring some guts to make more line, but we, uh, we have a lot of line. Where? Oh, there. For some reason, I didn't see them in the overall list. When it gets to the bottom of the list, it seems to scroll kind of funny. So that's probably what that was. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the other thing? So let's look at our situation. So we could just go ahead and make those bows. Uh, it's 0 0.66 for for the sapling. Just gonna see if there's any advantage. So it's actually it's advantageous to carry the saplings around until you need them, because uh, you can get guts some someplace else. So like we could carry them with us if we if we were just gonna totally move. Uh, on the other hand. 
Hmm. This will come in handy. I don't really know about the birch saplings, but I'm going to take... Well, I'm going to take them all. We'll leave them down there. Um, let's just, let's just take them. Uh, and we'll figure out what to do with them. I don't want to make any more traps, snares. That seems pretty good. Um, I'll take it. So do we really not have any shafts here? Let's hope that we left them there, because if we didn't, I, I don't know where they are. I, I hope someone watching can tell. All right. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit confident going down there. We're going to be carrying guts anyway. Let's... uh. Let's go ahead and just see if we can fill up and wrap it. It's very low density. So we don't really carry it around. And let's bring. Um, let's bring that. That's a lot. Okay, so the last thing is, I, I got fed up of worrying about clothes. Well, I'm, st <laughs> I'm still going to be worried about them. Um, but I made a spreadsheet. And I looked at... Uh, well, I took the wiki, which has um, weights and temperatures and all that nonsense. And I, I broke it down. And, and I want, just wanted to look at... Um, temperature by weight um, and I think kind of decided I want to wear the wolf coat it's not can drop it's not a gear. effective right it's not very efficient um, but it has a lot of nice properties like the defense bonus um, uh, in terms of these under shirts well sweaters in our case um, this guy's actually looking pretty good in terms of uh, warmth to weight so uh, here right so it's it's um it's so it's so annoying that the game doesn't do the full things, uh, and it's also harder because the numbers the numbers that the designers use are nice in Celsius and um, in kilograms, so it's kind of goofy to do this division using Fahrenheit and pounds, uh, but it, it works out to really nice numbers in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And I might switch over and look at it. I can't see it. Uh, without alt tabbing out, but um, and then the other thing is that this this guy is actually really nice. So the idea is we'll go for the trade off. Um, this is really really nice. It's got nice protection. We're gonna get eaten by plenty of wolves, etc. etc. Um, and this is very warm and very light. But we can trade out on these guys. So, uh, let's see if we have any more light sweaters. The thick wool sweater is not quite as good. Um, also, the same kind of uh, same kind of idea here. I really like this. You got the waterproof, um, the, the protection, and these are fantastic in terms of uh, warmth to to, to weight. These are pretty good, again, a good balance. Um, all this is kind of heavy duty, but I'm worried about getting caught in a storm like we were uh, a couple of nights ago. 
Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's look at the gloves. So, again, good protection. This dude, uh, super light and in, in comparison, super warm. So it's like, uh, for a fifth of a pound, you get uh, one and a half degrees. Um, so it's like, I don't know, seven times. This is nowhere near as close. Uh, the, the, generally, the stuff you craft is very has a very low warmth to heat ratio. Um, but I I think uh, we're going to be eaten by wolves a lot. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave kind of the outer stuff pretty much like what we've been doing. I may switch it around depending on what little adventure we go on. Let's see if we have any more sweaters in here. Let's check the other. Um, apparently these used to be better than they are. These wool scarves used to be on par with the toques. But for some reason they changed it. These, I think, are actually pretty good. So because we're so warm, we've got all this fancy stuff. Uh, on these inner layers, I'm, I'm happier to put uh, sort of shittier stuff that has a better ratio. So this is the, like the, the warmth to, well, the, you have to do it in the units because uh, whatever, but it doesn't really matter because Fahrenheit, it's <laughs> Fahrenheit goes up. Pretty much the same as Celsius, right? It's like a five ninths ratio or something. Uh, but but whatever. The the relative. <laughs> what matters is the relative comparison. So so this is like uh, like a factor of three, right? So um, the amount of temperature you get uh, divided by the the weight is about a three. Yeah. If you look at uh, this dude, so it's actually only about two. So you can compare you the, you can't compare those numbers with the same numbers you get with Celsius, but it doesn't really matter. You can compare the three to two, just fine. And uh, so for the same amount of warmth, you spend a lot less weight. Uh, alternatively, for the same amount of weight you spend, you get a lot more warmth. And we're not dying for warmth. So I think that's totally fine. Um, like we could repair this. Actually, no, it's 90%. Yeah. So that'll save uh, a little bit. We lose on the wolf. But, but in the whole, we're very protected. Um, we're honestly pretty like the weather can get down to negative 20 and we can be comfortable um, uh, with the wind chill. So yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think the only the only other thing we might want is uh, th there's these pair of shoes that I've honestly never even run across. Uh, and I think they're, they're not hiking shoes, they're, they're like, uh, I can't remember what they're, they're called, but they seem to maybe be a better, uh, better balance. But the nice thing about these is that they have a lot of protection too. So, um, cause I was, it's actually, these one running shoes are not bad in terms of ratio. They're not out of protection, they don't have any waterproofness activity uh, yeah all right that's a lot of talk about uh, I think it's 
I like this kind of minutia. But uh, not everybody does. We have a rifle waiting for us. I believe. Down at the cabins. Um, I don't know our bullet situation in there, so why not carry five shots? Because I think if we see a bear and we get a good situation, I might I might do it. I took a part of looking at all these stats was looking again at the bear. The bear coat and the bear bedroll, and they're both really heavy, like six pounds. But it's uh, this is really, really, really warm. So you can, considering all your clothes, you probably sleep out in a in a freaking blizzard with this thing. It's really nice. Um, uh, the the coat, it's it's a it's even less weight to warmth effective as the wool skin, but it is warmer and it is more waterproof and it has higher protection. Um, so it's kind of an extreme, more towards that extreme side, but it might be interesting to have that option. All right, I think we're ready. This isn't like a expedition here, but we do need to be mindful of wolves. We, we are carrying meat. And uh, in addition to meat, we've got to uh, gut. I, I wonder if cured gut gives off a smell. Because we actually don't have a smell. Um, a smell meter. So we had seen a wolf over here, so I think I'm gonna... Uh, on the other hand, the weather being what it is, I think we're better come to this way. Anyway. Let's listen for wolves. There he is. He does seem... I feel like we're going to be forced to deal with him, but I don't want to do it on this hill. It's, it's quite difficult to see. He may come over the hills like that. I feel like they have a huge advantage. Because uh, I really can't, can't even anticipate which side of me they'll be on. Anyway, this shouldn't be so bad. I think we know this place well enough as long as it's a wolf on the right. As long as we don't go too, too far off. Of it. Should be easy. I don't like that. I might not be able to see. Try to remember his existence on our way back. We may be waiting for him sometime. Don't really know how the spawn rules work in this game. Maybe they live for a few days and if nothing happens, they despawn. I don't know. But we'll be mindful.
This is a bear area. We should be careful of bears. Come right up to the to the huts, the houses. Seems to be pretty quiet. I believe this is where we stash most of our stuff, right? As exciting as dealing with wolves and whatnot is, this stuff will come in handy. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. What we got? Arrowheads. Sapling. Here's our rifle. Um, it's a fairly good quality. Actually, we have a repair kit. Maybe we'll repair it uh, before we go looking for bears. Got some supplies. Should have brought a little cloth, maybe for for uh, making bandages. Um, fair good bit of food in there. So all in all, a very nice set up we've left ourselves. Wow. So there's even more meat in here. This was a big bear. Or just bears are big. Bears are big. Um, well, we'll try to eat that first. Sure. All right, I'll put this on the floor. Oops. Now, like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that gut. But if we decide to make a bow. Let's take two guns. Okay. And another make sapling. Fruit. And I didn't notice the weather, but I, I probably would have if it's cold, so I think we could just go out and craft through the day. So what, what do we what do we wind up with here? Twenty seven arrowheads. I guess I guess we made. I feel like that still doesn't make sense. I thought we had forty. Maybe we maybe we made ten or so. I, I don't know. I guess it's not too far off. Uh. And, just shooting stuff a lot of those separate uh, well that doesn't make sense because we would have gotten the air to hit that I, uh, I really think we've only lost two so let's say we had 37 to start out with so then we've there should be 10 arrows in existence uh, which may maybe I didn't actually pay attention to how many arrows are back at the house Okay, all right. All right, at any rate, we start with making um, shafts. Um, so this is going back when I was doing it, but if this does smell, even though it's cured, 
let's not pick it up till we're ready to craft a bit. Okay. So very nice setup in here. We've left ourselves a lot of options. Let's start with uh, some arrow shafts. Don't know. I feel like we have more knives. I, we can repair using the whetstone on either. So I don't really know if there's any strategy here, but uh, we can see what percentage it takes. So that's 87 now. So this is this is probably fine. Wind seems to be picking up. Let's switch over to arrows. These take an hour and a half each. Now I know why we didn't craft all of them. Just be boring. Let's get a couple. Uh, these. These rays are archery. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. That's it. Tibet, we've pretty much torn everything in here there is to tear apart. But probably not in the other cabins. So it's pretty late, but I I think I think it should be good if we sleep. And then we wake up. By the time we wake up, I think we can uh, start crafting. It should be light enough. Um, yeah, but one of the things I learned making that spreadsheet is that uh, our underwear and our socks are fantastic trade offs. Um, of heat and warmth. I believe they give, using the Celsius to kilogram scale, something like four, four degrees Celsius per kilogram uh, of weight, which is one of the highest. I think the highest is actually 10, which includes the mittens. Uh, let me check real quick. There's one other thing. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, the wool mittens. Oh, the toque. So we have that too. Um, problem is the the wool mittens. I'd like to use them. I really would. But they're an outer layer, and uh, so all the other stats matters. Sorry about that. So, you know, we'll stick with this one. I'm... I definitely like the idea of traveling light so that we don't get overburdened. But I also don't much like the... Uh, the idea of getting caught in a storm. I Yeah. Could happen at any time. 
So we'll play cautious. A little, little cautious with, you know, concessions. I mean, we, we could probably get up, you know, significantly higher. Actually, I'm not sure about significantly higher. This is pretty much the best we can do. Uh, but, you know, we can make a bear coat. We could wear that Cowachan thing. We could certainly get up to 60. Uh, but I just, I don't think we need to. It's pretty early, so I'm not sure what it's going to be like. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like pre-dawn. At any rate, let's give it a shot. Nice peaceful time. Can I do this? Looks like a new day is dawning. So it's cold, but it'll warm up. There you go. We've got such a nice little setup on. It's not too big of a deal. Already eleven. Still kind of a ugly day. Let's take a look at our archery skill, see if it makes sense to try to get to the next level. Probably not. Let's just let's just do this. We don't spend too much time doing boring things. I think it's time to spend a little bit. Kind of uh, kind of like chores. Put them off as long as you can. Um, certainly strategically, it makes sense to make all the errors you could possibly make before you even shoot. Uh, before you even shoot the first one. All right, there's all of our shafts. We can make nine more arrows. Um, and unless I'm mistaken, that's all the shafts. the line to it. How many times have we looked at this table and we never noticed that line or that book? I love that. It's like we search a house. It's like when we search a house um, over and over, and then we come back again with the with the lamp, and we find it. Let's, uh, let's eat a bit. This chair still. It's like it wants to come forward. Oh, that's not good. She's a hungry gal. So, we'll, I'll just go ahead and we'll craft them all. I don't care. Probably won't level up, but... I think we'll make a bow, another bow. Uh, and 
and then we'll probably look for the bear. Oops. For a, I should say, another bear. For the bear's brother. I saw him uh, patrolling the area a little while ago. It's a little bit. I mean, unless I'm doing something wrong, it's kind of annoying that you can't eat out of the containers. Let's see if I'm just a bit stupid this whole time. I, I don't think you can eat on the inter interaction screen, the container screen. Might run out of feathers. All those feathers that we had. No, just kidding. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Let's see if we can sneak in another. Alright, looks uh looks like just about dawn, I think. <coughs> Let's do the arrows first. Six arrows, nine hours. If I math that correctly. Pretty much just watch and make sure we don't get uh, too cold. You go into the inventory, she's got to re re knock the arrow. Two more. So we were limited by. were limited by shafts so yeah that's quite a resource those uh, saplings because they they grow in the woods wherever they you have uh, to go find and they don't grow bad so that's just just a bit. Let's see what we got in there. So, maple saplings. Put two in there. We have two feathers left. Heads. That's nice. So why don't these combine? Well, we, I didn't realize we had so many bullets. We've got um, a metric buttload of bullets and just as many arrows. Like I said, I'm 
like a bow. It takes two guts. What do we put them in? Here? Um, we're going to really have to be on the lookout for saplings. It might mean that we have to spend more time roaming the woods because uh, I don't know where they are, where they live. So this is five hours. Night is coming. Let's see if I can make a little bit more on it. Weather sounds terrible and it's probably too dark, but you never know. See, it's pitch black. And the game lets me work on it. How does that work? I mean, it is black. So again, we don't really need this stuff, but um, it's one of these things where we have we have put ourselves in such a nice position. We've got a stockpile of food, we've got a stockpile of water, we've got a stockpile of wood. We don't need to to be desperately out. Uh, we can spend our time trying to trying to improve things, and uh, here that means getting ourselves a nice new bow. So we can do whatever. We can leave it somewhere. We can have it for when this one breaks. Um, I don't think there's any way to repair this, but I can't. There's no actions on it. I'm surprised you can't um, you can't take it apart at least for something. I guess what would you take it apart for? All right. So now we're really not very tired. Let's. Um, Fishing line. So what else? So tomorrow, weather permitting, let's go look for Mr. Bear, which is one of the d most dangerous things we do. Uh, and, and I'm not going to do it willy nilly. We're going to treat it like last time. want to make sure that we're in uh, that we're in distance to something that we can hide in. Preferably that car because uh, we can actually see out of that car. Um, otherwise, one of these houses, one of these things. But yeah, ideally the car, because we don't want to lose sight of them and have them wander around. And have an unknown assailant out wandering, whether he's dead, whether he's alive. All right, let's think we can pop in bed now. It's, it's going to be the thing about getting up too early is that it seems to be coldest in the morning. But otherwise, it's nice because we have a lot of uh, 
until he gets dangerous. Near the wind, that's not a good start. Um, let's load this bad boy. I hope. That eight bullets is enough. Dump that. Honestly, I thought we put that in there before. What else I might have put in instead? So we'll eat our fill. I don't want to carry meat. The wolves are just just as dangerous as always. And uh, just because we have a rifle, I don't want to have to shoot them. If I, I mean, I don't want to shoot them, but I don't have to. So that's a lot of work. This makes this makes some sense. If we have a whetstone, we might give the the uh, hatchet a go, but. Looks like we don't. 32, 33, 34. 34 arrows plus 9 arrowheads. It's 43. That sounds about right. So we're good. We, we only lost one or two. And we found a couple extra, so. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. Much more steady right at the beginning, and see, she gets worse as you hold it. Oh, yeah. She's now it's like she's drunk. But right at the beginning, she's pretty steady. You got about a, sh uh, I guess a couple seconds to take your shot. We're up to level three. Oh, look at that. Just a couple more arrows, we would have uh, leveled up arrows. All right, let's see what, how bad it is. It's a muscle of wind. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Negative eight. Um, just double check, I don't have the Let's do this. So we had pretty good luck. Spotting that bear over here, we uh, have seen him on multiple occasions. Still haven't seen a moose. Uh, love. So they love that satchel. So after this, um, I think we should prepare to go on our next adventure. Uh, astronaut, welcome. I don't know what you are saying. Frohi Oster. That looks like um, German or something. 
but I did not speak it. But well. Got a lot of wind resistance. So even in these high wind conditions, we uh, don't have to worry too much. So I don't see anything, which always worries me. Let's get up on top of this bridge. Um, so what's going on? It's fast or not? We've seen the bear come here, though he was hurt. Go out on the water, maybe go around the bridge. So good. And he could be up on the left. I imagine if he's got a cave, he's got to be up in the rock somewhere. Good idea to find out where his cave is. Or her. I want it could be like mosquitoes. Only the female mosquitoes drink blood. It's like a dangerous position. Let's see what's up here. This has got to be the cave. Huh. It's just rocks. much clearer uh, a little bit ago, wasn't it? Probably should turn these corners too sharp. Okay, rabbit. I thought that rabbit was a rat this time. But a very big rat. Mr. Bear doesn't move up here. So here, these don't really look like mountains, just hills, rocks. But he, we did see him. Um, 
I, I know I always gather sticks, but I'm gathering sticks just because we might have plenty of fun. Uh, we saw him near that little cavern. He goes quite a ways. Let's head over there. I'll turn a little bit go. Further this way. Does that look like something to you? I remember talking about moose. Scratching trees. I, I still don't know what that looks like, but it kind of looks like that tree's been. So part of me wants to look around the mountains to see if I can find a cave. <clears throat> the other part wants to look this way. To go to that little cabin. Usually you can hear the animals pretty far. Hey, Just Beer Bay. The keyboard is so beautiful. What, what makes it beautiful? It's glowing in every color. That sounds pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> what, why is it glowing? You love your new keyboard so much. All right, we've been here like eight times. I think I said I wish I had the, the old hacksaw, but I figured I'd pop in. 
Uh, is it just uh, glowing to be pretty? The colors are changing all the time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you can take apart the paddle. You haven't changed anything. Is that, that's like the default? Can you make it do stuff? Can you make it glow and spell out your name? That doesn't even make sense. Oh shit, there's the bear! So he's pretty far, but so he's somewhat close to this house, right? But he's wandering pretty far. Considering he, he goes to the bridge. I bet these are the dead uh, corpses. Uh, the birds. You can make anything else if you want to. He's just like... He's just like walking around. Um, well, you know, I said we'd be careful. So I guess we shouldn't uh, provoke him. Guess. What if he has like a a path? A path that he walks. He's too far from his house. You mean the aurora from your keyboard? I'm gonna cut all your keyboard. Yeah, look at all those letters you can type. That's a, that's a pretty good keyboard. It's got all those letters. I bet you can even type letters I don't even have. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, yes, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't even have those. Is it is it a German keyboard? How does that work? Do you actually have uh, those as keys, or are they? You have to press like a modifier. How does that work? It's a German layout. So maybe we should have followed him. Is it kind of oh there he is. Ah oh, man, we could actually probably hit him from here. <laughs> maybe not. Keys are so soft. Does it, uh, is it like a, is it clack? Is it loud? Is it mechanical? I don't 
see it. I mean, oh, I think you think I saw. I wonder if the mechanicals are really any better. I mean, I had a mechanical like I, twenty-five years ago or something, because I guess that's all they made. And ever since then, I've had a non-mechanical. Seems fine. I'm usually picky about stuff. I'm still using a mouse that's like 25 years old. But, uh, I haven't really had any problems with, uh, the clacking. I kind of like these new ones. There was a guy at work who had a clacking keyboard. Boy, did he clack away. Clack, clack, clack. All right, I, I don't like the idea of fighting that bear out in the in the woods. Um, maybe we'll take another look over here tomorrow or later in the day. When you run a mechanical, you have fewer failures. Failures like what do you mean failures? Like mistakes. Eat up. Mistakes. Mistake. Mistakeless. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. I guess you have to. Uh, I guess it takes more effort to push down a key, so maybe you don't push it. Down accidentally, I guess. Okay, that's enough sticks. Sucrose, don't pick up any more sticks. Excuse me, what, um, what should we do? If this bear is all the way up there. You have to, you have to confess that you're very drunk right now. Well, that's okay. I don't think you need to confess that. Uh, it's perfectly fine to be drunk, especially in your own house. Let's, um, let's go on a very, very small excursion. We'll just go above the road a bit. And then um, at the end of the day, we'll check on the car area. Is this going to break her leg? You're in the park all afternoon. That's where a lot of people, there were a lot of people that you like. That's cool. Like just hanging out or doing something, having a picnic. I think that's the dead body, and we've searched him so.
Um, but that's pretty cool. Random, random encounters. Just hanging around, playing some music, making jokes. That step she takes after you stop always just kills me. Of course, I want to pick up those sticks, but. Got enough sticks. I mean, maybe just one. One more per, right? So I I don't really have this map down. I mean I, I only know vagaries. But I thought maybe exploring a little bit might help. Like I don't even what is this road? This road seems to go back to uh a little house. I have no idea. Yeah, I like to go to, there's a lot of parks in New York City. And I like to uh, walk around and kind of just sit and think. Don't usually see anybody I know. I mean, I'm not sure I've ever seen anybody I know in a park. recognize this trailer. Unless we've come upon it accidentally. I don't know what this is. Like when we were coming down. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's very rare that I see somebody I know in the city. Oh dear. We have searched him. Maybe we. I can't remember when we might have come here. Maybe. Maybe when we just entered the area? Or. Or maybe I'm a little bit turned around already. So I expect that I'm walking back towards the coast, and that these are the two corpses. Which means the bear could be out there. But it uh, could be lost. Been here. easy to get turned around, especially when you go indoors and come back out. Uh, and the weather is not. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So I didn't get turned around. Actually, I sort of did, because I thought I would be further this way, but it's pretty good, pretty good. Not a big fan of looking for a bear in this kind of visibility, though. 
So instead, um, let's take a look. Wait. What? There's we only shot one bear. Oh, I'm really confused. We only shot one bear. Yet I believe that there are now two bear hides. What other bear donated this hide to our cause? Is, are these places just have a chance to drop bear hides? I mean, I don't mind. Well, that means we can think about crafting something. Uh, either the, the, I believe it takes two, either the bedroll or the, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's like a glitch. Let's see if the other hide's even there. Uh, Cause that's weird. Definitely only killed one bear, I'm sure. Of and yet, and yet we have two cured bed hides. It, huh? Would you look at that? I don't really know what to make of it. So we can either make the 11 pound coat, which I don't know when we wear it, and the six pound bedroll, which is three times heavier than the normal bedroll, but uh, quite a bit warmer. Both of these are repaired with bear skin. Damn, six gut. I mean, we don't have to make either. Just keep the skin. You may not run for much, but you may not need to either. It's kind of fun. I mean, that's just like an extra. Five pounds. It's nine degrees of wind, wind resistance, though. How do you... 
to seven. It's but it's still nice. I mean, the wind is really what gets you when it's like a blizzard. You've got the wind and the and the cold. Yeah. I don't know if I'd. Uh, I'm just thinking, when would I wear it? Would I wear it around the house? It seems. I mean, not around the house. I mean, around just goofing around. Maybe. I don't know. Would I wear it on an expedition? I feel like I try to stay light ish so that we can carry stuff. Uh, one of the things about being heavy, even even just over 30 pounds, is that when you're exhausted, uh, 30 pounds is your limit. So if you have a, like a 60 pound pack and you're exhausted, you're like double your limit. Um, I mean, weight is important. Let's, uh, let's save them. And if, well, I'm thinking we want to go on an expedition, right? So the, the place that I want to go is we go back to Mystery Lake, we travel the railroad, and go through the other tunnel, the other side. Uh, and I have never explored that region. So, um, and, but I'm pretty sure it's a harder one. Like, these that were added at the beginning were much easier. I've never been to the mountaintop. I've never been to the... Uh, what is it? Uh, I can't even remember now what, what there is. So there's the, the mountain. I know the mountain is supposed to be the hardest area. Because the, the plane is there, and if you get to the plane, there's a bunch of supplies. Um, I think there's like a like a bog. Uh, I have been to the house. The, I mean, not the house, the town. Milton. Uh, I've, I did a run off, uh, off camera where I lived in Milton for a while. And I know that, okay. I think that that's hard because of the wolves, but it's got a lot of nice stuff in it. I don't know where else there is, actually. I think the bog has the um, the other forge in it. There's two forges in the game. One uh, in the lighthouse place that we went to, and another. So, what I'm thinking is, if we go on an expedition where I really don't have any clue what's going on, maybe up the mountain. It would be nice, probably, to have the bear bag. I think that's what I want, because if you're stuck out, uh, it's so tough, because to, you have to go out you have to pick one. So what does the bear take? What does the rug take? The rug. It'd be cute if we could make a rug just for decoration. Six gut, uh, 17 hours. It's not terrible. How many guts? Two, three, four, five, six. So we can make it. Let's make it. 
uh, we can get started on it today. Never made either of these, actually. I've never made anything out of a bear. I usually just, uh, oops, usually just don't make any. It takes a knife? I guess you've got to cut the hide up. And I'm so glad we got knives. <sighs> I think I need to lay down. We started taking some temperature. Out of bear and water. That's okay because we're just about to. So I think you know, this. Uh, drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right about now. All right, all right. Always with the drink and the pee. Always with the drink and the pee. She always goes there. It's never anything. A little more relaxed, a little more civil. It's always with the drinking. Right, so we're actually out of uh, food, of meat, that is to say. We've got plenty back up on the hill. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I think if we just work on the coat, we should be able to finish it, go up there. Uh, I don't know if we have any cooked. I think we do. We have fish. We have fish cooked for sure. So we'll sleep one more hour. Not sure. We might have to eat a can of dog food or something. Whatever. Anyway, um, what I was saying, I may have said already, but uh, we bring that sleeping bag. I feel a lot more comfortable going to some place I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I've said this before. I know is that. Oh shit. Blizzard. Most of the times I've died, it's because I was traveling and I got in one of these blizzards and I don't know where I am. Um, I get lost, I'm looking for something, or, or I just am between destinations and I. You can't do it. You try to cover. Yourself and try to find somewhere to go indoors, but you can't see anything. Um, and that's all she wrote. Does it actually use up my knife? Even though I can bang these open without hurting them? I hope not. Well, it sounds pretty much the same. I'm still going to take a look. It's a shelter from the wind. It's not so bad. Uh, perfect. Just the wind doesn't switch directions. Good point.
Oh shit. Okay. So we got it finished, I think. Let's take take a gander. Look at that. Bearskin bedroll. Beautiful. 100% condition. Which is good because... Uh, don't harvest it. To repair, it takes bearskin. I would drink just about anything. Let me guess. Let me guess. You would drink your pig. Jesus. Um. So let's say we're done with the bear nonsense. We've actually, we have a second piece. We have a bedroll. We don't need bears anymore. So put up the uh, doohickey. We actually have some cloth in here. Uh, I think that's it. So I'm going to grab let's uh, let's get both of these bows. We'll bring them up to the house. And the same goes for the ooh. It's kind of heavy. I'm um, going to leave take the lichen. Speaking of which, is there any repairs we can do? It's a little little low for these wool wool wraps. These things are apparently pretty rare. We were lucky to find a set. Um, I saw people on I don't know the, the forum or something talking about they've never seen one. So, I'm just trying to think. Let's um, let's, let's sleep to get rid of the aurora and see how bright it is outside. And if it's if it makes sense, then I'll try to go to get uh, to get back to the house. I can't tell if that's still. Aurora ink. Oh, I could eat anything. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just sleep through the night and then we'll run up to the house. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and make plans to, to move out of the region. Not to move out of the region, but to, uh, to go on an expedition. Did she wake up? Yeah. All right, so is there anything we want in here? I think this is mostly for crafting. And I think we should... Go ahead and eat that condensed milk. It's just about ready to break. Um, I'll also bring the coffee up because I don't think we're going to make the coffee. Let's let's do a little experimento. Uh, Fifty and sixty, yeah, on the knife and the on the axe and the knife. Fifty and sixty. Look at that. Bullshit. It uses up your knife, even though we can crush cans. So, that that's bullshit. Um, being at five for cooking, I think it's being at like three cooking. No calorie loss when smashing open cans. So, smash them. That's a pain in the butt. 
So we'll have to like drop them. Alright, I'm, I'm not doing that. Even though it's just up the, up the way, I'm not gonna go out in that. Alright, then I'm gonna do... The totally unnecessary. Totally wasteful. Uh, extravagant. Even. Repair of this at 86. I think it's too cold. Uh, these take rabbits. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Let's go for it. Repair. This is a wasted block. But uh, we're about to go on an expedition. Right. Let's pop in here, warm up, then we'll head up to the house. But yeah, we'll we'll get the best stuff. We'll have a knife and hatchet at like 100%. We've got our bearskin sleeping bag. Uh, nothing but the best, because I don't know what's going to go on. And I think it's one of the harder regions. Um... The I don't think I'm gonna bring the gun though. Just the arrows. Probably should bring the gun, but it's not exactly an RPG, but I feel like I'm playing a role. And that role is someone who wants to travel light. Ooh. We're not going to shoot the deer. Because we don't need them. Just going to look at the beautiful deer. It bent down to nibble on the ice. Looks like uh, something out there. Just gonna eat a little ice here. He's uh, warm. Is that, is that a wolf? Yeah, it looks like a wolf. I wonder what would. I wonder if we should scare it in. It's just to see what happens. Like, you know, scare the the deer to the wolf. People say that that's how you catch deer. Let the wolf kill it. Uh, maybe he's too far. Come on, wolf. It's a deer. Aren't you hungry? Aren't you wolf enough? Um. Anyway, the, the, the wolf kills the deer, and then you, if you want to be really careful, you let the wolf eat, and the wolf leaves, and then he leaves behind the carcass, and you get a couple of pounds of it. Uh, 
otherwise you kill the wolf, and then you get the wolf and the deer with one arrow or bullet. It's much harder to shoot deer anyway. I don't see my little buddy. So I, I've told everybody and told you all that the weather here is better than in Pleasant Valley. I run the forums looking for evidence of that, and it doesn't seem to be. No one's collected the data. Um, and a half the people say that the weather is the same in all regions. Uh, another half of people say that. Uh, Oh, it's, it's a little bit colder, like five degrees colder. And, and the third half says that, uh, you know, the, the, the chance of the blizzards is different, but not the weather and all sorts of stuff. Classic. Um, you know, people making up shit. I feel bad about it. Not eating all of this. Well, we're not going to leave today. Let's see if we can figure out if there's two days worth of stuff to do and we can do a better job eating that stuff. What happened to the fish? Do we eat it all? So let's put, um, until we're ready to go, I'm going to leave this in there pristine. We'll bring the nice pristine. One, two, three, four. Left some in here. It doesn't look like it. So the only thing that um, I think we might want to do, and this is ridiculous, is repair the rabbit skin nets. I would. I don't think I'd ever do it with the wolf coat at 87, but uh, rabbits are pretty easy to come by. But let's wait just a little bit here. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get good knives, good uh, hatchets. I always forget what they're called. And this is at 50. We've got one at 63. Oh, we sorted by. That makes more sense. Let's use uh, use this whetstone up. So it's at sixty-seven. Yeah, we'll probably use this up. Um. Now, what's our goal with this expedition? To survive. Uh, I'm sure we'll find a bunch of stuff. Every region has stuff. But, uh... Whetstone has been broken beyond repair. You can't even repair whetstones. 
but okay. I guess that's trivially true. Um, but yeah, I think this is this is gonna be one of those regions that are not so domestic. Uh, I can't even remember. Okay, four percent. So we'll do it one more time. So yeah, like the the mountain, I don't think has very many indoor places. I don't, I don't think going through the rail is going to get us the mountain. I think it's, unless I'm forgetting a place, it's going to bring us to the fog. Um, which I think it doesn't have very many places. It's just like... a difficult experience, you know? The different zones have been designed... I don't know for different styles of play, but just to give you different experiences. I think this is more of an outdoor zone. Uh, I feel like I'm missing an area. See how quickly we use up these whetstones? Uh, as much hoarding as we've done, these tools aren't going to last very long. Okay. So that is that. about the clothes that we might bring. I think um, this is pretty much it. If anything, we'd be more conservative and actually bring like something heavier. Uh, I mean, maybe that's not conservative. It's conservative in a certain way. Conservative uh, for bad weather, but I'm more worried about getting exhausted and stuff like if you can't find a good place to put down the bedroll, um, you're going to get exhausted. Can you just put it down anywhere? Can you put it down the snow? I guess. I've never really tried. So... Uh, the medical equipment will bring the light stuff. So let's put uh, these up, and we'll bring. God, I don't want to go too crazy in being prepared because that's that's just as easily going to get you killed. But how about seven bandages? It's too it's too much, but that's that's what I'm going to do. Um, I actually think I should carry. Carry uh, I will try to use these instead of sleeping to be safe. And having more will make me more likely to use them. Okay. These Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Sticks, on the other hand. So, uh, let's cook. Uh, doing pretty good on water. Let's cook this some of this meat. Oh, this is cured. I don't really feel like moving it. But... Uh, 
Maybe we should put it in. It's 44 pounds. That might. That might work. Just to see exactly how much we have. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe not. That might be too too big. I don't know if we have any bigger containers. No, 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 no. Oh, that's I think that'll be fine. Alright, so let's pick up these. Just uh really tidy up the house, you know. Maybe give it a good good brooming. What do you call that? Sweet. I think we have enough wolf pelts, huh? I didn't realize we had so many because they were all stacked together. I'm glad we did that. So is that it for hides? Or are any more hiding? Uh, seems to be it. I don't know. I'm kind of still undecided about bringing a lantern. Obviously, it would help us. If we find some place, you know, like these houses, I know sort of the layout of them. So even if it's a new house, I kind of know where stuff is. But if it's a new model house, I have no idea. If it's not a house at all, like it's a gas station, you know. Anyway, let's make, let's cook some meat. Quality 90%, probably 58, probably 88. Um, oh shit, probably 89. I have half a mind to bring meat with us, which is such a stupid idea. But I just, I love eating meat. Not, not because I like meat, but because uh, it's renewable, right? So my brain says, oh, you can eat as much meat as you want. Don't worry about it. Just don't eat the peaches. The peaches uh, have a lot longer shelf life. Um, but then I get into these stupid situations where I think, oh, I should eat meat, therefore I'll bring meat, but you, then you get a predator, uh, a wolf attacks you. I don't quite oh, yeah. That's a good one. have it in my brain about what the best thing to do is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cooking brings the quality up, so what was 58 should become 100 or so. Uh, at least 98. So it either adds 50. Shit. Of course, uh. Of course, it swung that way, huh? So we could try building it on this side of the house. Maybe don't put so... So much wood on it this time. I just thought, it's such a nice day, uh, I'll be able to cook all day. This game 
Saying, fuck shit. Come on, little fire. Just imagine if we were out in the wilderness. We had to, we were starving. We were losing help. We're just about to die. We need to eat. And you can't build a fire because there's a, there's a storm. God. I've been in these horrible situations before where um, where as you lose condition, you know, because you're so cold or because you're so tired, as you lose condition, she gets to the point where she gets wobbly, not uh, dizzy, you know. Um, and it absolutely induces nausea in me. Did it switch? The wind switched. How much more do we have? So we have one piece left. What happens when you try to cook it? In, in, in the fire burns huh. God, that was creepy. Alright, screw you, Storm. What was I saying? So, it, it, it gets to the point where she's just wobbly and the screen goes blurry and she stumbles and she staggers oh my god it's horrible uh, oh we didn't make water I think we've got enough so I don't I don't want to get to that point I don't want to lose condition um, it's a real nightmare so yeah, if any of these get below, get to zero, you start to lose condition and you don't regain it. You don't gain regain your health. So if you're super tired and you can't sleep because of uh, you know sleeping bag, you just die. If um, if everything's fine, you've got food, you've got water, you're not tired, but you can't get above freezing, you die. So it's it's any of them will kill you. It's uh, it's brutal, and it doesn't even seem bad until something happens that makes it so that you can't fulfill that that need. It's like The Sims, but horrible. All right. Well, uh, let's take another look at our clothes. So. Yeah, I, honestly, what we've got on, I feel like, is a pretty good balance, right? Because we've got a lot of protection. We're going to be eaten by wolves. We don't know where the wolf areas are. There's going to be hills, whatever. We're going to miss with the arrow. So I think it's a good balance. The only consideration is possibly switching out the wool shirt. Um... And I don't know. I think uh, the question is: Can four degrees save your life? Yes. Um, but so can four pounds. Do I trust myself to drop goods uh, in order to uh, not be tired? Not really. I don't. So maybe it makes sense to uh, to stay light. So I, I think what we're wearing is a really nice uh, mix. Like these are the best things. These are the best things. Um, super nice defense, nice defense. Uh, also, this is slightly higher defense than this. It's a shame there's no like goalie mask or something. High defense, uh, high defense.
resistance, and then high wind resistance, high water resistance. So I, I, I'm pretty, it's heavy, but I'm pretty okay with all this. So sleep bag, the arrows. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave tomorrow. Oh shit, this is full. Man, First thing is I'll take more. out those. Uh, take this out. Let's just, we'll think about it later, but. Actually, so are we going to carry a lantern? Gonna find one. There might even be one. So in order to get to where we're going, we're gonna go back by our first house, by the Mystery Lake. Um, and by the dam, we can look in both places and see what we've left. And uh, feel free to take and, and move whatever's there. So we'll leave these lanterns. I really wish they'd fix this. Bug, so I could I like to put them on the countertop, but you can't move the lanterns for some reason. Only the well, only certain things. Like, why can you move that? But you can't move the lantern. I have no idea. Very strange. Please, if anybody's watching, they understand what I'm doing wrong. You know? So I've got seven new arrows and two shitty arrows. Um, I'm actually, we have so many arrows total, I'm going to bring a little more. What we're going to do is when we get to Mystery Lake, the, what is it, the camp, it's not a campgrounds, but it's the, whatever, the little house on Mystery Lake. We'll probably leave some of the arrows there, but I just figure you never know what it's going to take to get there. So why not have a lot fresh, uh, if that makes sense. Is there anything we want to repair with quality tools? Um, I, I really don't know what you can repair other than hacksaws. What else can you repair with quality tools? Maybe the flashlight? I have no clue. Um, as always, I'm going to carry one accelerant. We're going to find more. Uh, and this. Carry a, a match book, which is a little bit lighter. Um, and hopefully, we'll find more matches. We're not going to die. I'm going to make sure we don't die by weighing us down so that we never leave. that away. I'm half tempted to take an actual sewing kit because uh, if we get beaten up by a, by a wolf, we'll want to repair. Um, all these things uh, I may leave in the ranger station, in the Mr. Lake station. Um, take third flare. No bullets. Snares, the nice bow, nothing but the best. Um, and then 
I am going to carry 100% fishing tackle because it's 0.04 pounds and it it can be useful. You can use it to repair your clothes. You can fish with it. Uh, I mean, might just make two more actually, just to carry three of them. And, uh, we'll reevaluate when we get to the mystery lake. I'm not going to carry a hacksaw, I'm not going to carry a pry bar, even though there could be stuff that needs prying. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. So the thing about the pry bar is you can carry it with you, and then once you've uh, opened everything, you can just leave it. I mean, look how many we have. You can also use it to go fishing. But oh, I'm, I, this is probably bad to prepare for such contingencies. Um, I think I'll leave it. We've got enough stuff. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, as I always say, the water can be dropped. In fact, um, I'll probably drop the sticks right now. The food... So... Let's use some coffee when we go. Uh, carry another cup for the road. Uh, and I'm going to carry A little bit of a little bit of non <clears throat> meat food. What I should do, of course, is leave the meat, and I may leave it in the mine or something like that. We'll drop it maybe as, as decoys. I should bring some of these. Like, do we want to stop and hunt? Or do we want to be able to just go? So that's actually, we're starting the trip, you know, over. Cedar firewood. I don't think we need to, to bring this. Um, but it is kind of hard. I mean, I don't know if you all remember, but to get from here back to Mystery Lake, there's a whole zone in the middle where there's not any place to live. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry it to remind myself. Maybe we'll leave from the cabins to save a little time. Okay. 
so uh, I'm gonna try to eat a little bit off of these each of these steaks so that when if we drop them as decoys uh, I won't feel so bad. So last uh, last check because I'm gonna head to the little fishing uh, huts. Is there anything else that we want to bring? Should bring the gun, but we've gotten a decent. At the bow. Okay. Okay. Start this off uh, a little bit rough here. Take the safe route. <laughs> it's like Hansel and Gretel. Drop the tender tender plug. That we can see see our way. It's not a bad strat, actually, considering all those sticks that I dropped. I mean, pick up. I have a bit of a Ominous feel. Feelings aren't everything. Deer on the right, that's a good sign. Um, right, so to get to Mystery Lake, we go up and to the left, back through the mine. Which we lit a flare. Should have brought, should have brought a lantern just to get through the mine. I don't think we left ourselves a lantern. We lit a flare when we came through the first time. Uh, I could do it the poor man's way and simply don't light me. Hug the left wall, but uh, I, that's, I think that gets pretty tough, even though uh, it's not very, it's not very complicated. But when you can't see anything, it's, I mean, it's hard to figure out what the left wall is. home away from home. Last chance to take a gun. Last chance to drop off some stuff. See how uh, we're already over because as she gets tired, she loses max carry. Um, that's a big concern. Let's 
Kingdom. We can do. Probably should have repaired these myths. Got all those skins and about to go off. Probably. The only thing I can think of is make a fire, but I uh, don't think we need any more water. Probably we're gonna drop some of this in the morning. So, uh, okay, let's just sleep. Uh, so one second. So the middle of the night is pretty much midnight, and we uh, we're almost fully rested. So that's kind of sucky, but it's okay. I don't mind. We'll rest. We'll um, pass the time. It's we've been efficient for a while. We can. Indulge a little bit. Yeah, because I'm not confident enough, even in this little area, to, to go in the middle of the night. So let's. Oh, yeah, there's the bedroom. Let's do two hours. Where should get those cards from? It's taking a little chunk off of each of these stakes. Nibbling. We'll get fully rested. Probably we should be able to leave. Yeah. The wind seems to be howling. All right, so I'm going to take a peek. If it looks good, I'm going to go ahead. Looks good, although I'm a little worried it's cold. Um, this is a good amount of water. It's not, it's it's still a lot. I could drop some if I need to, but I think it's enough to get to the mine for sure. If we have a blizzard or something, there's going to be uh, plenty to make that easy. Go for it. So our, our first goal is to make it to the mine on the other side of the mine. Uh, we'll decide what we want to drop, but um, I, think, I think I can go up here. I think I know this well well as enough. Now we have one level of smell. Fully anticipating a wolf. I don't think the bear is attracted to smell. That could be wrong. I think he pretty much leaves you on your own. As long as you don't mess with him. 
So the safest way up is we follow the river. It's the way that I know. We've done it a couple times. We follow the river, and then we get to the top. It's on the left. We have seen wolf here. It's no longer cold. Perfect. Where is the... Oh, there's the bear. Jesus. Here's the river. Glad we missed the bear. I feel a little silly returning to Mystery Lake. It's pretty treacherous getting back. But, uh, not sure where else to go. for an adventure. So that's where we go. After this playthrough I'll probably look at all the maps. Uh, before we do our Less wolves, more wind edition. This is, this is it, right? Yeah. I think this is where we saw the wolf before. I really want to shoot uh, the bunny with the arrow, just to see if I could. It's such an inefficient use of arrows. I just want to see if I could. Right, looks good. All this looks familiar. Now, from Mystery Lake, I know of a few places we can go. Uh, but, like I said, I want to start through the railroad. Okay. So, I believe we managed to get up from the left side. is getting chillier. We're just about there, so I don't even worried. Single arrow. Goodbye to Coastal Highway, and hello to whatever this junction map is called. And eventually, Mr. Lee. Still cold. Should get warmer as the day goes on. I'm not worried yet. Uh, it, it looks like a storm, though, and that kind of sucks. We need to get over this railway. I don't know if, if you remember, but it's a bit treacherous on this bridge. Um, parts of it have broken off. <clears throat> but uh, if it storms, we can... Oh dear. 
wipe the sweat off of my palms. sound effects really help. Oh dear. Oh dear. It gets me every time. Don't, uh, don't look down. Now, I believe there are wolves in this region. If things might, if things get too bad, this might be a good place to come back to to be sure from the wind. Against the wall, we're actually warming up. So let's take this time to to eat and and on. Oh well. I was gonna drink the coffee, but I, I think I think we'll be fine. We can get to one of those little trailers in Mystery Lake and, uh, and sleep there. Um, Mystery Lake had a lot of wolves in it. Coastal Highway has been very kind to us. It's a lot of wolves, but they kind of tend to stay to places where we don't have to go. I have to deal with that again. Maybe we go around. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Doing good. Doing good. If it weren't for the wind, it would be nice and toasty. I believe you can actually get down to the bottom. Uh, there's a rope, or there's a rock climbing place where if you have a, if you bring a rope down, you can get to. What I'm trying to say is climb the rope to the bottom. You can have a rope. I believe we saw it. Um, I'm kind of thinking let's do a little bit of exploring. Very, very, very small amount. We've got the railroad track to guide us. Just to see what's over here. Maybe some like it. What is that? Is that a cave? Hey, look at that. This would be a good place to uh, 
to sleep. We have to. It seems to be sheltered from most directions. Um, I think we'll just press on. Hoping for like uh, or rose. I think I'll stop picking these up. All right. Just a small little. To, uh, to erupt into something bad. Ah, I think you can see that sharp rock straight ahead. That's the rock climbing rock, I believe. Must have missed something. Maybe this way. So the the yeah the, tr the tracks have a problem. But I'm not sure how to get over there from here. Look at that! Found a cairn. Oops. Bradford, soul is at peace. Mighty oaks from little acorns grow. Well, I thought that that would be how we get over. But. Okay, so we're back at our little cave thing, I think. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Can you tell me? Well, I mean. Be down. Shit. Let's look again. Maybe I missed. It. So, when we came over, the, the tracks had fallen or broken or something, and then we had to do some kind of some other acrobatics. I thought we walked over a tree. Kind of looks like you can go up there, doesn't it? Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, now we're perfect. So, probably we were worried about our weight uh, when we came over. It's about 11. Let's look over here. So, we need to go to the right, but uh, I'm just going to take another quick look. Let's see, there's the climbing rope. There's a deer. Like, we need more meat. He's been here since we came here the first time. He's got a stake 
One steak. But we'd have to cook it, and that's going to take time. All right. I have definitely gone from Mystery Lake to Coastal Highway many more times than I've done the reverse. So I don't exactly know. what we're looking for. But if we can find the railroad again, that's what we want to follow. There it is. So, because I'm in the mood, I'm going to take... Yeah, I feel pretty... Looks like deer. I feel pretty comfortable not getting lost, and the temperature's fine, so we're going to take a little peek over here. Uh, and that deer certainly emboldens me because it means there's no wolves, at least next to the deer. But, uh, the corpse over here looks like another deer. Some lichen, that, that's nice. I mean, bears live in caves, but they're not usually in the caves. So I'm not I'm not worrying too much. The cedar, I don't think we need to bring that with us. Um, in fact, let's take a little bit to stop and eat. Bring down our weight, bring down our smell. Yeah, another little cave, another little clearing you can go to if you can manage to find it and you need to. Um, again, I, I don't know whether it's superstition, but I feel like the weather in these connection areas is often bad. that deer. Oh shit, look what we found! It's birch! So that means this is nine more arrows that we can build. Um, that is, you know, for, for the long term, that's a fantastic find. So, there's a bridge. We've got water, and I see little reed dudes, so I'm just checking for some cattails. Oh, I'm sad. It's a deer again. Oh, there's one. So, where there's cattails, there's a sucrose.
kind of sad. There's all these cans and nobody's uh, written their message yet. Okay, let's get back on the pack. So, uh, just double back and uh, the railroad takes you to Mystery Lake. It's the same railroad? Well, you know, it's the same railroad that goes through Mystery Lake. Down the middle. Okay, walking into the winds a little bit slow. Plenty of time. There's places to stay just in the entrance. Um, let's go check what's up here. We did this much more hurriedly the first time because we, when we got out, we had to find our way down, and that is another uncertainty. But uh, this way. Like a dude. What's this guy got? Oh, shit. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Hey, another hatchet. It's very nice. Again, for the long term. Uh, definitely gives us options. Doesn't like really anything there. I think that's it. So we are overweight now. By two pounds. Just out. Start getting tired here soon. In the sense of uh, losing carrying capacity, so it's good that we're just about done. Oh, wow. I wonder if we could walk all the way up there and, ca and get uh, cattails. on the way back. If we make it. So, okay. We're just about to make sure, like, this first part, we had a lot of trouble with wolves. Um, the first few streams uh, were in Mystery Lake, and it was crazy full of wolves everywhere. Um, every, every, everywhere. So I'm going to try to get into one of his trailers. We're watching them. So far, so good. I don't see anything. <sighs> we uh, we rested up in here uh, a few times. I'm sure we've um, uh, healed up, patched ourselves up from wolf attacks. There's wolves waiting out the door. It was uh, it was mad. So, 
I, I don't know exactly what to do. Uh, I mean, in general. Here's what I'm thinking. Will I remember to come back here to this trailer? I have a terrible memory. Um, but if I did, if I did remember to come back, then I'd probably go ahead and drop some stuff. Like these birch saplings, because we're not going to be crafting arrows uh, here. Uh, scrap metal. The arrow, the broken arrow. Kind of weird about leaving feathers on the floor, but I guess that's where we got them. You know, that's a little bit of weight that brings us back down. We don't need these things, and we might want them coming coming back. So let's hope we can remember. Um, I, I feel like we have a good reason to come here because it's the last door before uh, the transition zone. So let's try to take the back way. Uh, I don't know this area super well either, even though I've played it a thousand times. Because usually I just stick around the railroads. But I think I think I can make it to the to the to our house. This back way, I think. It's a deer. It's a weird looking deer. Uh, this looks kind of strange to me. I feel like it's not right, but we'll probably know pretty quickly. This feels right. It just doesn't look good. Um, wait, is that? I can tell if that's working. I'm still coming. I'm still coming. I mean, I need to. Okay. Let's take it this other path. This other path. Uh, I didn't want that food anyway. I think this goes to the same place, but I don't even know. So. But yeah, I think this is, um, we halfway went up here looking for cattails. Um, I believe. So basically we can follow these little cattails all the way back to the cat. We shall see. Where else can we go? Wolf's never tasted the meat so fine as cooked bear. I don't need to tell his little wolf wife and his little wolf kids. What was that? 
guess what I have today? I said, I ate a bear. I said, get on. Ridiculous. You ate a bear. I did. I ate a bear. It's delicious, too. Sorry, there's not much, but uh, it's just so great. Alright, so my hope is. Um, that at some point we stop seeing these. And that's where, that's how far I went uh, earlier. Maybe this, this is it. Like, I went this far and then I said, ah, I'm not going to go any further. I think so. So far, so good. I think we'll make it. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we've seen plenty of wolves here. So we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> but, uh, we're not lost. That's the, that's the good thing. There was often a wolf over there. And it was just exhausting. It was exhausting to deal with the wolves. There were three on the railroad track one time. Um, they just attacked us one right after another. I don't understand. But next time we're uh, we're not playing on stalker uh, wolf settings. It's just ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. Why are we still doing it? I'm starting to get tired, so we're not keeping up. Oh yes, deer. So we've seen wolves here too, so the deer are good. Harbingers. I feel like harbinger is necessarily a bad thing. So maybe they're not good harbingers. Good omens? Omens seems bad, too. Good signs. We're just out of curiosity, how wet are we? Not at all. All right. We rarely saw wolves here, so I think we're honestly good. So with the rest of the day, um, we'll make a fire, cook up a bunch of water, and sleep the night away. Um, in the morning, we'll leave for the next set. And uh, let's see. Let's see what time. We'll probably we'll probably stop when we get into the next zone and we find a place to spend you know a little safe place. I don't like stopping when I'm not safe. So I don't know how long that is. But this was our first home in the game. We dropped rocks because we were heavy. More rocks because we were heavy. We have seen a wolf come right up here because they suck and they come over the train tracks. We're trying to cut some lumber. Right. Home again, home again. And what all did we leave for ourselves? All sorts of stuff. stuff there. We've got a deer hide. Hey, we can repair our pants. Oh, do we have a... Oh, we don't have any gut. Oh, that's sad. Sucrose. 
be thinking, oh, there's already some water here. Um, I think they've left quite a lot of stuff. Oh, shit. Huh. Quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I just got an achievement. So about a hundred days. Um, cool. Oh, here's our hatchet. I thought we had a second hatchet, but now we have three. Um, wow, we left so much stuff. Uh, even a toque. All right, let's see how much water we can. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oof. There's, we probably don't even want to bring that much, but uh, I just thought to, to check. That's a lot of water. All right, we don't need to make water. It's a real shame that I don't have sin in. I mean, uh, gut. All right, well, let's see what it, let's see what it takes. But I'm pretty sure it takes gut. Ah, it's not a shame. Wait. Oh, we repaired them. We repaired these before we left. What am I thinking? I'm thinking the rabbit skin pants. Okay. So, so let's put some stuff away. Um, basically, the stuff that when we come back through here, hopefully alive. We'll want to. Uh, we, we may want to take with us. All right, so we've got all these arrows. I was expecting to break these arrows, having to shoot a wolf. We didn't have to shoot a wolf. So, um, clothes, tools. So let's put at least these two ramshackle arrows. Thing. I, I think nine is, is, is much. Like, I can imagine losing a lot pretty quickly, especially if we get hot-headed. Let's bring seven. That's a lot. That's a lot of arrows. But, like, if you think about if a wolf attacks me, shoot the, shoot the thing, it runs off. I don't know. It's not going to... Yeah, actually, they do run off, because they... Sometimes you shoot them, they don't die, then they attack you, then they run off. And you lose an arrow like that. Um, six. Six. I just won't miss. Six, two. Um, and once all this bear and, and water is, is done, we actually don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff, a whole lot of weight. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, this is a lot of meat. Can't believe we carry this much meat, honestly. I wonder what I dropped as a decoy. Does he drop the lightest? If, if I had gut on me, would he drop the gut instead of the meat? Okay. So... Don't 
Don't need cattail heads. Do we have trash? Oh, shit. There's 12 more arrows we could make. Oh, 15, I think. If I didn't, if I counted right. Let's see if we can put them in here so that we don't forget them. That's 15 more arrows. Plus the three, plus the nine that we left, nine arrows. So that's 24 arrows. Is that right? It's kind of funny because once you get those arrowheads, even just 10 arrowheads, you're really limited by the saplings. Because those break and you don't get the sapling back. It's kind of interesting. And you, you do get your air that's back. At any rate, we'll see them when we come back here, and we'll definitely come back here. Oh shit, we have gut. Do we have rabbit? Oh, don't tell me I brought the rabbit. And and didn't bring all this other stuff. Whew, this pack is getting kinda heavy. Um all right, this is a trash corner, so let's drop. Oh, man. Because all these things are kind of sitting here, you know, useless. Um, and so why not? Why not just repair to 100... Uh, We may very well die, and to have saved all this stuff would have been folly. However, all these pelts, and I don't see a single rabbit pelt. That's sad. Well, I don't think I can put all these in here, so we'll put, uh, we'll just put them here, I suppose. Deer pelts. I think we can put these in the drawer. It's a shame this drawer doesn't hold very much because it's very useful. Uh, we managed to get nine lichen. I think that that makes three. Um, Cultuses or whatever they're called. Those little, those little rabbits are hard to see. I feel like I'm missing off the map. Let's see. Say love you. I think we were in the habit of saving stuff upstairs, but let's just take a peek just in case. Uh, my memory is not the best. I, I, I have probably said some, at some point I'm going to remember to come here and pick this up. Well, I believe that's all the big stuff. So, all that's left is to kind of exhaust ourselves and to wake up tomorrow and head out. Because we haven't used anything that we can repair. Um, we've dropped off the tools and, and stuff like that, stuff we've picked up. Um, maybe we maybe we leave the flare. I I can imagine needing three. You know, I thought there was a I thought there was a mine in between the in between the zone and the other zone. There's no mine. I realize now there's no mine. Don't need a don't need a land. Oh, that's close. 
Um, but yeah, flares are useful. Clothes. Not. Yeah. Let's, let's grab it. That's this takes leather. I mean, if, if I had cotton. Oh. I know this seems so bad. Apparently, fire stuff is in this drawer. Um. I'm considering putting some of this food and grabbing cattails. So we haven't really used our cattails. Um, and it's one thing if we live to be 500 days old. And I guess it's another to get there. Um, these are more calorie dense in terms of weight. But... I think it's fine. The tw 29, so let's say 20, each one is 150, I think. Uh, 34,200, 4,500 something calories. I want to say. Um, it's a lot. Hopefully, we'll find something else to eat on the way, and this is just supplemental. So I think I think I don't need to take any more. Uh, so so I, let's just call it even on the food. Bring a can open it up the cans. And then throw it away when we're done. We could bring this little wet stuff. We'll, we'll find it. And then close. So we could tear these up for fabric, or maybe find fabric in the house. Um, and repair like our long johns. Um, let's see, please. Is there any easy stuff that we. Maybe upstairs. Curtains. Something. Something like on the banister, there's like. Um, cloth. Did we really tear it all up? Probably me trying to be. efficient. Not wasting a night. I'm surprised we got all of it though. And then we carried it all out. Um, this has cloth in it, but it breaks down the hatch. It's starting to get pretty dark. So let's. Uh, Here, this, this thing. I'm going to need to rest soon. Uh, I got you. Okay, so we'll prepare this thing. Because, uh, oh my god, it takes an hour? Shit. 
Uh, this was the problem with this place, is that it is so dark. So... thought that uh, the other place was dark. I have no idea where I am. I'm trying to find the filing cabinets. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I think Oh my god, it's right there, where is it? I just want, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay, easy, 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 easy. <sighs> Damn. It's pretty dark out here. See if we can. Stumble our way to bed. And, uh... oh, I'm crouched. Um, yeah, so we'll go to bed, and we'll wake up tomorrow, and we'll head out. Adventure, the adventure starts. Actually, it's late enough, and we're tired enough, that it makes sense to drink the herbal tea now. There we go. That way we'll wake up, uh, we'll make sure to wake up um, feeling refreshed early enough that we have plenty of time in the day. Start finishing these steaks too. I'm thinking that by the time we get into the next zone, there won't be much, many steaks left. We'll have to watch out for wolves. And I don't know what the next region's going to bring. Okay. Oh, actually, we're still here. Should we bring this land? We have so many lands. I, I think you'll find another. Is that stupid? Is it better to just bring one and drop it when we need weight or to preserve it? So you can always light a match, although that's wasteful too. 
Um, All right, so we still got two, like two and a half pounds. So it's like a thousand calories actually at stake of uh, uh, air. All right, here we go. Decent weather. So I fully expect to see it. What is that? These deer just coming up to the house. Well, I wish I could kill you deer, but... Places to go. Fully expect to see a, a wolf. They... They seem to hang out near these railroad tracks. I think, uh, I think the idea is to get you off of them. More exciting to have you go through the woods. Surely it is. But, uh, all right. After just a little bit, I'm gonna hope to remember... I, we're not gonna explore this route. Uh, after a couple minutes, I'm going to hope to remember to pop the coffee. Uh, since it gives water, I'll, I'll wait. As a wolf. No? On the right there? What is that? Just a rock? Is he taking a breather? What's going on? Got an arrow with your name on it. Yes, what the fuck is it? It's just a wall. Okay. But there is a wolf uh, to, the, to the right up there. It's definitely got seeds. Let's see if we can get to the left enough. And he goes to the right enough. Um, and if we sneak, we'd probably be okay. Take so long. See him? He's right straight in the middle. So he went down. Is that two wolves? May fortune find us. And fortune favors the bold. And so we'll uh, start with some bold. Bold just call. Good to the last drop. This stream. Pay for it. In part. But bold just call. Forlorn Muskeg. So this is the swamp place. Um, I mean, it's not much of a swamp since it's frozen, but it's not a forest. Um, yeah, we've got a rail down the middle. That is the obvious safe. I know where I am. Uh, tool. And then I'm sure all the cool stuff is to the sides. I suppose we could follow the the mountain. Let's see if we can get a uh, 
Um, okay, well, no big deal. Let's check this little lake out and then go from there. We can always go back to this railroad because I don't think we can get lost. Hopefully, we won't have a blizzard. I'm going to start picking up a handful of sticks just in case we need to build a fire. Yes, our mom's little helper. Cattails. Um, it's really not many identifying features. You can see the power lines, it looks like they stop. We'll, we'll investigate that a bit more. Usually the power lines are a good indicator of where the road is because you can see them easier. Oh, I think I see a sapling. But before that, So maybe this maybe this won't be such a such a bad place. Start stirring us off with cattails. I'm back over there. It's like a sole single sapling. I bet it's a uh, maple. Makes arrows. Just three more arrows. I thought I heard something. Um, he's not very safe, is he? They know. When you pull back on the arrow, when you pull back on the arrow, they they attack, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, I did that left thing, and I didn't know what to do. Both seem fine. He hurt our condition very slightly. We recovered the arrow. Uh, five percent damage. So honestly, that's a pretty great encounter. Um, some more light to the right. Let's, uh, let's let him, what if this whole map, what if this, I mean, so cattails grow in swamps. So what if this whole map is covered with cattails? We'll never go hungry. Uh, also, what if it has weak ice? I don't know if that's a okay. Uh, anyway, he we must have got a good whack at him with the hatchet. So he'll go off and bleed to death, and maybe by the time we get over there, he'll be dead. So I feel like we learned something useful, which is that when you draw back, they attack. And you know it's true because it rhymes. So, I sort of drew back as like a preparatory thing. I 
looks like a wolf up in the mountains. Maybe not. There's a deer close by. See that thing? What is that thing? That's, is that probably a rock? Oh, more saplings. I wonder if this is just a whole outdoors. So I like this place because you can see pretty much everything. Um, the downside is it seems pretty featureless. Don't speak of the devil. There's something red over there. Are you the dead wolf? Are you the? Right, let's get let's get in a good place. <sighs> Archery expert. Did, was he the other? Oh, oh, we recovered that arrow. No afflictions. Did he hurt my clothes? He did hurt my clothes. God damn it. We need cloth. So we could we could take this, take the guts. Oh no, we don't need the guts. And head back to the freaking office, the the, 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 the cabin thing. We're not that far. It's midday. We could make these a little foray at a time. Into this region. That would be safer. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's maybe not as exciting as just throwing ourselves headlong into this region, but um, it makes sense. So we'll cook this up. We'll come back a little bit to the right of where we went, in. and hopefully. Uh, Maybe, maybe check it with that red thing. Is. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's only about to the clock. Should be good. Of course, this is going to make us smell even more. I think the wolves wouldn't have noticed this had we not been carrying a uh, bear. But, uh, Now we've got wolf. What were we? It said expert? No. I guess expert is level four. Most way reduced air damage. Bleed, bleed out time. That's good. Per use condition loss reduced by 50%. Both of those are great. Um. Let's um, just do a tiny bit of stuff. Yeah, so we'll head back towards the red thing. It's probably a, a train car. We'll head back left and then we'll, um, we'll finish today back in the, uh, our first house. But we need to repair our clothes. Um, that's a pretty strong 
the terminator for me. Um, I do not want to lose the two. Okay, two. We'll uh, check it out later. But we'll eat it. Wonder what that, what those crows are. Could be the first wolf that attacked us. Could be a deer. Could be a human. It's nice that the torch doesn't blow out. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, well, uh, we've, uh, we've uncovered that mystery. There is weak ice in this region. Oh my god, can you imagine traversing this at night in, like, a blizzard or something? Jesus. I, I don't know if there's any visual indication. Once you get on it, it tells you. Now raw meat smells more than. Man, I'm not sure I'm carrying much more. Cooked meat. But. Uh... Sun is high in the sky. No real rush. No problems. Everything's cool. I'm telling myself that. There's a field plan. Wolf slash wolves. Um, I want cactus, but I don't want to get drowned. So, all right. Like I said, let's check out this train car. Or what? I assume it's a train car because it's like. The same color as uh, the ones in yeah, It's on the rail. It's the same color as the ones in Mystery Lake. It's kind of funny when you think about it, a lone trail truck with a train car. Like, how did one car get attached and left behind? in multiple places. Hey, what's that? Is that rock? Looks like... Maybe it's rock. I'll tell you one thing, it looks like a dangerous region, so I bet there's something good waiting on the other side. Because this isn't real life. So, well, we have more than one car. Ah! Uh oh. Well, it just got shit.
carry all this back to uh, Oh, that's nice. I can use this. I'm, I'm actually bringing it just for the cloth. Fire barrel in there. Fire barrel could save your life. It's, it's got to be point to this, right? Well, that's surprising. It's non video gaming. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh my goodness, we're at 74 pounds. What did we pick up? All oh, this meat? This way. And stay. See birds. Stay in sight. Really. Don't really want to go in the water. God, I want this water. These treasures. Alright, this place is a little bit scary. Like, where did that bear come from? I, I look around constantly. <sighs> I can only assume that it's a ghost bear. A restless soul unprepared to leave this earth. Perhaps it was wronged in a way deemed not fitting. I can never tell if things in the distance are rocks or houses. We had the same trouble in uh, Pleasant Valley. Oh yeah. Let's drop those things. Still have to wait, but I'm sure that was pretty good. Wonder if being overweight increases your chances of falling through. I wonder how the falling through thing works at all. Is it just, it happens after three seconds? Is it just uh, every second there's a chance to fall in? Um, I don't particularly want to experiment with this character. But, uh,
Did we really walk this far? Please don't tell me I got turned around. I mean, we could be going one of two directions. Either away from Mr. Lake or towards it. So I guess I don't feel terrible. But I would feel a bit bad about the sense of direction. We definitely want to be heading back if we're going to head back. I mean, it's getting late-ish. So I don't have any wood on, in which to cook the deer meat. Um, and if you remember, there's a wolf waiting for us. We can get that. I guess there's not a whole lot of wood in this region. Or they're like branches and not um, sticks. I'm going to test my luck. Forlorn musket egg. So we're going to try to get back to the camp office. And that's where I'm going to put. that era. Look at that placement. How did he not die? It, it, it penetrated his brain. You left your, your companion. Um, oh dear. Uh, I'm taking off the hat. Because I don't want him to die. That's ridiculous. So, in afflictions and afflictions. The gloves are kind of hurt. We took a lot of damage. It's such bullshit, too. Because I shot two of the wolves. Alright, we need wood. And, um... Otherwise, it's just a straight shot, huh? I'll be willing to bet that... Uh, more boys. So I'm thinking what that means is uh, I might because of all this meat and the attention it draws I'm going to stay in this region for another day or two repair my clothes because it'll I'll have to get cloth uh, and then only carry you know, 
non-smelly food. But while we're here, we can eat. We can melt some meat. Two bowls, or plus a, a bite of min, um, bite of deer. And uh, I think I think there's still some bear left. So, you know, all your major food groups. So, you're so good. So I think this is the hill. Maybe. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from the tracks because, you know, bears is, I mean, wolves is. Is it? Do I have to look back over here? All right, things just got a little more interesting. Well, we're alive. We have uh, we have a bunch more cattails. Um, we've taken one of our arrows down to forty-one percent. So um, we could theoretically make another arrow. Have to, but I think we have plenty. And uh, yeah, so we're going to um, repair all of our stuff. We can't see anything. Okay, workbench. Simple tools, okay. Okay, file cabinet. So, okay. I can't see shit. I mean, it's it's just like a black screen. I thought I oh now I'm really lost because I really Is in front of us. So we step to the left, we go towards that window, get a, around the thing, that, that, now to the right, oh, oh. to the right is the cabinet. Okay. And then now I'm going to pivot. No, 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 I did not. No.
There should be... That Jerry can't. Jerry can't. Jerry can't. Where's the fucking ladder? Oh, I saw it. Okay. Got a lantern. <laughs> Why is it so dark? It's ridiculous. Uh... Let's just, let's just sleep. Oh. Um. Yeah, so we'll repair all our clothes. Probably we'll spend this day, uh, we'll spend this day around the house. Uh, repairing clothes. We might have to go to some other cab, like actually back to the cabins across the lake because there's a lot of cloth there. And we'll go back to Forlorn Muskeg the next day. But. It's so dark in here, I can't even find the bed. Like, it's black. So I really expected it to be... Like, the clouds to go over, or whatever does it. I know this place is dark, but usually you can see the windows. So that place is interesting. Um, bears, wolves, deer, as usual. You can, you sort of think you can see them. But the problem is, there's so many little hills that they get underneath them. Uh, and then you've got the weak ice to contend with. So, try back and away or something. Get dicey. At any rate, that is where I am going to leave it for today. And uh, yeah, I'll probably play this next week. Um, so I had fun. Hope you had fun. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you next time.